Hello, I'm Paul Sloan with Small Vines and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, different aspects of bud break in the vineyard. Um, the first stage of bud break is what we would call swelling or the q-tip phase when the bud just starts elongating and it's kind of cottony looking. It's got a white cotton around it. Um, the second phase to bud break is what we would call the popcorn phase where it, it kind of looks like popcorn that has popped out. So you see a little more texture. You can start seeing the outlines of the leaves and, and maybe the first cluster. And then you have the first part of what we call full-blown bud break and that's where the first leaf emerges from that little bud that is uh, popping out. The biggest concerns that we have during bud break are um, our weather and you can also have uh, pests. In most cases we understand those beforehand and, and we can deal with them accordingly. Weather is probably the, the farmer's biggest fret. Uh, we had some hail up in the Anderson Valley that knocked off some buds uh, in the 2015 vintage. You can have uh, f you know freezing conditions, overnight temperatures dropping very cold and, and frost damaging the buds. Um, there are a few things you can do to mitigate this uh, frost protection which either consists of fans for moving, mixing cold air with warmer air. Uh, you can also do some organic sprays and biodynamic sprays that uh, can kill the bacteria within the bud that are affected by cold weather. So we do have some tools that we can work with but Mother Nature is really in control of this uh, farming that we're doing. So. Green pruning is the first action that we physically do to the vines after the pruning process. Uh, pruning is where we're removing all of last year's growth and leaving only the buds that we want for the next year's growth. So that's what we call dry pruning. The goals of green pruning are setting the structure of the plant, so forming the plant at a proper we don't want the plant to be on different elevations because grapevines are, are apically dominant. So the side that is highest is going to take the predominant energy of the plant. So we want to do our work to level out both sides of the plant so there's no dominant side to the plant. And um, the second is to leave proper space between each and every shoot within the vineyard so that no cluster is touching another cluster and the right amount of sunlight is penetrating the vine, through the vine, into the fruit and, and the leaves. And um, the next is to balance the plant. So during we try to do that during pruning, leaving the proper number of buds, but you can see if one vine is growing not very much and the next 10 vines next to it are growing significantly more, you can remove a few buds to help those fewer remaining shoots grow more evenly, more vigorously, balancing the plant with the other vines around it. If we get it right this year and we get the plant evenly balanced, we leave the right number of buds on it, then our job for next year is, is twice as easy.